MPs are split over whether thousands of children should take a day off school next week to protest against climate change. Green and Labor MPs will give the school strike for climate a warm welcome when it marches on Parliament next Friday. But national MPs say pupils shouldn't bunk class for it. Here's our political reporter, John Gerritsen. The Green Party co-leader and climate change minister James Shaw told TVNZ's Q&A programme last night that students should leave classes to protest climate change next week. But today he rode back on that and told Checkpoint he supports the strike but he's not urging children to participate. In choosing to take time out uh, in order to do this, these students are placing something at risk. Right? That's actually the point of a strike, you're placing something at risk and that is an individual choice that people have to take for themselves. The Education Minister, Chris Hipkins, says it's up to schools and parents to decide how to handle the strike. I want kids to be learning. If taking part in this action is part of the learning process, then there may be some merit in it. If they're just taking a day off school, then actually they're punishing themselves rather than anybody else. And so you know, I hope that they will be thinking very carefully about that. Other Labour ministers are more supportive. Housing Minister Phil Twyford says climate change is too big an issue for young people to ignore. I think it's great to see uh, young people getting involved in issues like climate change because actually if there's one issue that's going to affect the next generation it's climate change. So. And Agriculture Minister Damien O'Connor says he'd be happy for his children to go on the strike. We have teacher only days so this will be a kids only day. You know these kids are smart, we are dealing with their future, you know I think it's pretty organised, I, I have no problem with it. You'd be happy with your daughters skipping school? Absolutely. On the other side of the house the National Party is decidedly disapproving. The party's leader Simon Bridges says students have a right to protest but not on a school day. We know that there's a number of strike days coming up, maybe they should protest on one of those days. I mean I think the reality here is, yeah, it's a serious issue, but I certainly wouldn't want to say anything that encourages uh, students to be taking time out of their schooling. National's education spokesperson, Nikki Kay, says government ministers should not be encouraging students to participate. I'm a bit concerned that you have got the Minister of Climate Change out there encouraging people to not be at school and that does put parents and principals in a pretty difficult situation. The main thing is that parents have given permission, otherwise we may have unsupervised kids 12 or 13 years old in the streets. National Party MP Judith Collins is dismissive of the strike. Their little protest is not going to help the world one bit, nor will it help the education. But I also remember that when I was that age, I used to think a day off school was a good thing. And former Environment Minister Nick Smith says the cause is good, but a strike is not the best option. Young people getting engaged uh, and involved in the issue of climate change, great thing. Disrupting schools for a day? Look, I'm a Conservative. My view is that uh, generally strikes cost us all as a community and we can all find excuses to drop tools, uh, not work, not get educated. But strike organiser Sophie Hanford says disruption is the point of the exercise. We're sick and tired of not being listened to and it's come to the point where we actually almost have to disrupt some of the norm to actually have our voices heard. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't come to this, but I think we're, we're ready to stand up and, and fight for that. The young demonstrators argue the protest is needed because climate change affects their future the most. And that's a message they want to make loud and clear, whether the adults in Parliament like it or not. Atu i te whare paremata, mō te o te ahi ahi, ko John Gerritsen a hau.